spectacularly toned 1951 proof Roosevelt dime. Graded as PR68 plus deep cameo by PCGS. Only 57,500 proof sets were issued in 1951, the year after the Mint resumed its commercial proof set offerings. Few survivors have been seen with deep cameo contrast, and coins in extremely high grade tend to have brilliant surfaces. This magnificent plus graded PR68 specimen displays vivid shades of burnt orange and cobalt blue toning, over sharply detailed design elements and deeply reflective fields that contrast dramatically with the frosty devices. The stunning cameo effect is most unusual with richly toned coins. I appeal is tremendous. It was sold for $18,800. 1956-proof Roosevelt Dime. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. In his 1991 reference on 1950-1970 era-proof coinage, Rick Tomaska made the observation that still holds true today. Because heavily frosted 1956 Franklin halves are not terribly difficult to locate, many collectors assume the same must be true for the other denominations. This is simply not the case. A glance at the population numbers verifies this statement. The 1956 dime with deep cameo contrast and at the PR69 grade level is a rarity. This superb gem fetched a sum of $13,200. Roosevelt Dime. Graded as MS68 full bands by PCGS. According to NGC, this issue is plentiful in mint state through the grade of MS67, but FT examples are a small minority of the total number of survivors. The typical 1947 S dime is softly struck from heavily worn and blurry dyes. Such dyes were often repolished to remove their erosion lines, and this resulted in proof like coins having very shallow or partially effaced features. This MS68 full bands gem was sold for $10,407.38 with buyer's fee. 1967 Roosevelt Dime from Special Mint Set. Graded as SP68 Deep Cameo. According to NGC, in 1964, the United States faced a coinage shortage. Due to this, the mint ceased production of normal proof coins, which required significantly more work with dye and planchet preparation. As a substitute, they created the special mint set, which contained coins that weren't quite proofs, but were clearly of a higher quality than normal circulation coins. This allowed the mint to place more resources into producing coins for circulation. These special sets were issued in 1965, 1966 and 1967 before normal proof production started once more in 1968. This rare gem ended up selling for $10,068.75 with buyer's fee. 1964 SMS Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. The 1964 special mint sets that started appearing at auction decades ago have an interesting texture. They don't have the deep proof-like, almost proof, quality of the 1967 SMS coins. They are more similar to the 1965 SMS pieces, but lack the reflectivity seen even on those specimens. Speculation is that some 50 sets were produced, many of which have been broken up in the last 10 years. This dime is lightly toned, intricately detailed, and displays extensive dye polishing. It can be distinguished by a tiny rim imperfection at 9 o'clock on the obverse. It was sold for $6,600. 1954S Roosevelt Dime. Graded as MS68 Plus by PCGS. 1954S dimes were widely hoarded at the time of issue, and gems are plentiful through MS67. Only a small percentage of these merit the FT designation, due to the tendency of San Francisco to run its dyes way too long until they suffered loss of detail. This specimen was sold for $5,906.25 with buyer's fee. 1963 Roosevelt Dime in Mint State 67 plus full bands. The mintage of the 1963 Roosevelt Dime was an enormous 123 million plus pieces, but most certified examples are no better than gem condition due to small surface marks, as a rule. This elusive specimen was sold for $5,581.25. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the world of rare Roosevelt Dimes. Check your change, sift through your collection, and who knows what treasures you might find. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin discoveries. Happy collecting, 
and may your change be filled with unexpected wealth. Until next time, see you in the next video.